Hi friends, welcome back to the teaching learning pedagogy TLS. This is Abdul Ghaffur and I hope you are doing well. As you can see the background, yes, it's a turn of the UA social studies teachers. As I told you that I'm not going to leave you alone to any teacher, either it's a, a physics teacher, either it's English teacher, either it's a, a math or even a social studies teacher. I'll try my best. I'll be giving you useful and uh, suitable content that's going to help you a lot. Firstly, again, thank you those who personally text me uh, for their uh, completion of their pedagogy TLS and their specialization, math specialization, ECD pedagogy. Um, so I will say again, it's all your efforts. You are doing hard work, you are spending time on it. That's why uh, you have a succeed. But now it's a time for the social studies teacher. And I know it's really hard. I have been through the content and uh, it's really cocktail and mixed up of uh, very uh, lengthy subjects and you have to go through it. And each content are equally uh, weighted of the 10%. If you have seen the uh, subject specialization study guide. So what I'm going to do, I'm, I'm, I'm going to streamline this, uh, this course in a new playlist, which will be specially for the UAE specialization. And uh, I'll be breaking these content uh, subject wise. So definitely it will take time, but uh, uh, I'll try my best to give you uh, these content and videos uh, back to back that those who have already registered for their test, they can benefit from that. So in this video, I'm going to uh, give you the overview of this course and uh, how to uh, uh, lead or uh, 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 streamline this course, what you have to do, what I have to do, and I'll be giving you the important tips uh, that they're gonna save you a time and uh, I'll be giving you the important tips that you have to go through the other subjects. What are the important areas you have to go? I'll be giving you a, a specific content. I'll be giving you the specific time period, what exactly you need to uh, study about it. So if you're new to my channel, uh, uh, please, it's a humble look at press the subscription button first. If you want more videos and want to get notified about uh, the videos pedagogy TLS, please press the bell icon button. One thing I'll say must, uh, while you are watching this content, you have to be patient. You have to go throughout the video. Don't skip, you know. Uh, Maybe you find uh, some errors or okay. I, I don't mind if you're gonna uh, write in the comment box, okay. Or uh, you can give the solution of it. This is the, as I've mentioned, uh, I'm trying, uh, I'm requesting that share your experiences. So instead of, you know, the criticizing, it's better to, you know, uh, give me the solution for that. Please write in the comment box that this is for, uh, this answer, this is for the, this answer, okay, that will be highly appreciated. And the second thing, okay, if you really think these videos are benefiting, so be fair, be honest, drop your comments and uh, uh, tell your friends, okay, and uh, how it's benefiting to you. I don't mind, okay, I'm trying my best, I'm improving, and uh, that's, that's all, okay. So go throughout the video, watch these all content and if you have a more information please drop in the comment box that everybody can benefit it from that so we are here as a team as a collecting uh sharing this information collectively uh that they can uh, benefit uh, to other teachers of our brother and sisters okay so uh in this video first i will be sharing with you it may be a long video because this is the first lesson okay so let's let's see okay about the, uh, the pedagogy specialization content first i'm going to share the screen as you can see here social studies from grade 3 to 12 
these are the uh, the content or we can say that here this is the one history civics geography sociology economics information literacy and information processing more education cultural heritage identity uh, social science integration inter interpretation and expression this is the uh, 20 percent it's very important okay and uh, i have done um, uh, the videos about the integrations okay so i'll be telling you for about them uh, regarding the moral education i have a playlist of the moral education i'll suggest you please go through it it's about integration and the course development so uh, for the social sciences it's very important that you must know how to integrate the moral education are you teaching as a as a course stand alone or as an integrated approach so these are the two important things okay you may ask me questions about that okay and one more thing okay uh, if you need a, a curriculum uh, assistance for the moral education ua social studies or history geography uh, either you are the uh, following uh, moe course or uh, us curriculum please feel free okay uh, I can give you a very good support in it, uh, so you can uh, discuss about with me uh, that how uh, I we can develop this a good course uh, that will help you in the uh, KHD and uh, in self evaluation as well as. So uh, here I have to a little bit move. Yes, now it's fine. So two hours, eighty one questions. One in, will be. Uh, the writing for that or two hours 45 minutes 80 multiple choice questions and one will be constructed response so you have to tell you have to be innovative and creative in constructive response this is very important and very tricky i'll be telling you about also this one but the most important thing uh, which i have seen in this uh, about the sample questions so let me check where it is i have i must have to read that and let me get where it is oh. yeah here uh if you didn't go through uh, this is study guide i'll suggest you please go through the social science test has a three types of the questions multiple choice questions testing social science knowledge so social science knowledge it's not a social study it's a social science keep in your mind uh, social science has a wide scope and wide range and the geography history other subjects which are mentioned in the uh, uh, course or content table this is all included in social science okay so this is the one thing we have to be clear there's a difference between social studies and social science <clears throat> as well as the short text with the multiple choice questions, testing the ability of candidates to interrupt and apply social science concept. Uh, in addition, the test includes constructive response question, testing the ability of candidate to integrate the social science domain. This is the important thing that as a teacher, are you able to integrate uh, the curriculum or social studies curriculum with other subjects? how you are interpreting, how you are interpreting. This is a more okay, critically and creatively and express concept clearly and logically using evidence based of the arguments. And so this is really important thing. Okay, If you are the teacher, you must know how to plan, how to integrate these courses, where you have to uh, write these content, where you, what content you are going to align either it's the UA social studies, your history, American history, geography, uh, moral education. That's in. So the most important thing you will be evaluated, it will be moral education and uh, UA social studies because UA social studies is actually social science. It's not a, a social study. If you go through the content table, uh, it will give you the geography perspective. It will give the history. It will give you the economic terms. It will give you. So the content is covering a uh, different concept and uh, uh, the criteria 
and uh, to what extent as a teacher you have to teach that matters okay so it has been defined by the ministry of education as well so if you need further help about that you can so let's go uh, about the uh, lesson again uh, i have prepared the content so first i'm going to talk about uh, this thing uh, the history uh, the history is first part uh, which is about this one uh, ancient up to classical so these two we are going to cover today in this lesson a significant people and events examine the impact of significant people or events in the classical period china greece rome and this one significant ideological and technological development examine the impact of significant ideological or technological development in ancient to classical period sumer hittiti uh, egypt and china keeping in one thing in your mind that uh, uh in this uh what we call on the content uh, table or content from ancient to classical or 1.1 in history i'm going to tell you the uh, substrands that you need to study or i'll say you must study so i'm going to streamline today the ancient to classical you have to go all these through content but what will be your focus the two things as a, if you are the history uh, student uh, you must know the primary source and the secondary source how to interpret or uh, you must know the interpretation of the uh, primary and secondary source because your questions are based on that one i can give you uh, the here uh, the picture that i have uh, observed these look at these you know these are the primary sources and you have to go through it this is also a primary source so the history is based on the primary source how you are interpreting so i'll be giving the answers of these questions as well as you know in other videos but first i need to streamline courses what you have to study so let's talk about the uh further about the history so as you can see here if you go through this this is the social studies uh, let me check if i can share yes so you can see here uh, social studies specialization so the first domain history and uh, 1.1 ancient to classical period what you have to do in ancient what you have to study in ancient ancient civilization so first you have to go through the uh, china civilization uh, which is called the yellow river civilization and the greece civilization rome italian and egyptian civilization you have to go through the ancient uh, civilization uh in which you have to study the different periods of that one which is the uh, prehistoric term you must know and the historic which is the paleolithic neolithic and bronze age and stone age so i'll recommend you that you have to go these ages through for all these uh, civilizations which you can see on the screen the second thing uh what time period you have to focus on it the generally the time period you have to focus for the ancient world from 3500 bc or bce to 580 in which you have to go for the egyptian civilizations this one then you have to go ancient china civilization you have to go greek you have to go roman uh, empire and this one so roman republic and the roman empire you have to go for both and the classical age which has the another a part of that one from 100 to uh, 980 uh, this classical age will be different for uh, uh, for each uh, civilization like a china a greece rome and egypt for every country or every empire or you can say uh, there will be a different time period of the classical age so you don't have to be confused that why these are the different even the uh, paleolithic neolithic and bronze age these will be different for uh, each other egyptian civilization will 
have a different these uh, time periods for these ages and similarly the and china greek even other first four civilization of the mesopotamia american mayan anka and uh, uh, indian civilization as well as so you have to go through it uh, the second thing for the classical uh, age which was immediate uh, followed by the ancient world when ancient world or ancient civilization ended uh, then uh, after that uh, the uh, classical time period so what is the classical time period uh, which is especially in the development of the uh, art literature and culture because uh, after uh, the uh, ancient because in ancient civilizations people were unable uh, uh, to live they don't have uh, houses they were cavemen they were uh, developing uh, through the ages but after uh, these ages which i have mentioned um, bronze age stone age okay people started develop and uh, they started to live in the colonies and uh, the concept of the culture writing and uh, uh, speaking a uh, language is uh, building houses so these are the elements of the culture as well as you so this was uh, the period uh, when the ancient uh, uh, period ended then a classical age started okay so classical age i'm giving you for uh, the different uh, china uh, which was from 500 bce to 600 ce uh, classical age for greece from the 5th bc to 323 uh, you know that the, which was the death of the uh, alexander the great classical age uh, of rome start from the 8th bce to 6 ad a uh, classical age of egypt the, which is also called the middle age of kingdom or the first intermediate uh, intermediate period of egypt uh, from uh, 2181 to 2040 uh, bce which was the earliest uh, uh, as compared to the others okay because uh, they started to build uh, pyramids and uh, they started uh, writing uh, which is the hieroglyphics and more However, for the Egypt regarding the second part of that one, uh, technical and ideological development, uh, Egypt. So technical and ideological development, you have to go through it, okay? Uh, these are the must. Uh, when the centralized government was declined, the decline in the power of the central government uh, following uh, it collapse, largely independent districts with their own this is the ideological development governors developed throughout the egypt until two great centers emerge one is the hira uh, Konpolis, which is a city of hawk or modern city is called komal hammer which is the lower egypt and thebes a city of uh, and the nile it ruins lie uh, within the modern egyptian city of luxor in the upper egypt so Egypt has been divided in two parts based on the Nile. One is the upper Nile and one is the uh, lower Nile. Upper and lower Nile, its uh, uh, name has been given at, based on the flow of uh, Nile River. So, so from the flow, the part uh, which flows towards the Mediterranean Sea, okay, or close to the Mediterranean Sea, which is called the lower Egypt, however, uh, which is the uh, now for this part uh, from the Mediterranean Sea, which is, uh, that is called the Upper Egypt, okay. The stability uh, provided uh, the, by the Theban uh, rule uh, allowed uh, for the flourishing of what Middle Kingdom as uh, from 2040 to 1700 BC. The Middle Kingdom is considered Egypt's classical age. When art, culture uh, reached a great height, and the Thebes have become the most important and the wealthiest city in the country. So the Thebes uh, is actually a city or uh, on the uh, on the Nile River. Okay, even it has a connection uh, with the uh, Greek or Greece. Okay, uh, the first standing army was the created during the Middle Kingdom by the king of uh, Amenemhat I, and you can see it is a twelfth dynasty of the when the classical age started. However, development in a literature and art, ancient Egyptian literature comprises a wide array of narrative and poetic forms, including inscription on tombs, stale, obelisk, 
and temples, myths, stories, and legends. Religious writings, philosophical works, wisdom literature, autobiography, uh, graphies, biographies, histories, poetry, hymns, personal essays, later, and quotes, and decor. That was the development in the, uh, what we call in literature or the development in the art. So this is also important. You have to go through it, okay? Another, these things, okay? Egyptian writing, which we know the sacred curve writing, uh, hieroglyphics. Uh, there was a development in trade through the Nile. Foreign people known as haikus, you must know go for the haikus, which is called the foreign people, uh, to gain power in lower Egypt around the Nile Delta. The haikus are the mysterious people, most likely from the area of Syria and Palestine, who first appeared in Egypt. Uh, second intermediate period, you have to go through it by the foreign rulers, haikus, development of carriage. Uh, light vehicle pulled uh, two horses uh, especially this vehicle has been used in the greece as well as you know spartan athens uh, the war when they have the with the war with the persian or peloponnesian war as well development bronze and the ceramics so you can see uh, the uh, art uh, into the uh, pyramids and uh, there the other infrastructure as a primary source you have to go through it uh, regarding the significance of the uh, development in Greece, the classical period in Greece was an era of conflict. Uh, there was two conflict, was the first Greek with the Persians and the Athenian and Spartan. Political and cultural development and the classical age brought a historian writers, as you know, that uh, Socrates and uh, Hippocrates, uh, which is a physician and the political reforms. Uh, which was a democracy. The concept of the democracy was in the Greece. The Acropolis, you must go of the Athens, is one of the most famous ancient archaeological sites in the world. Uh, you must read the Peloponnesian War and uh, the so-called Golden Age of Athenian culture flourished under the leadership of uh, Persils. You must read about uh, him, a brilliant general orator patron of arts and politician the first citizen of democratic athens in the china on the technical and uh, development uh, so china you and egypt you have to focus more uh, invention of a printing press uh, writing system cuneiforms different densities of ruling like a ming king Zhu, han Zia, and uh, other dynasties, okay, you should go and read the time period and who was the ruler of that one. Culture and pantheons. Uh, Sina comes from the Sanskrit, which is a China, is a Sanskrit, Sanskrit word. Trade of silk, you have to give touch of that one. Homo sapiens, uh, Neolithic, Paleolithic, Bronze Age, Stone Age, Pottery Tools, Yellow River, Mandate of Haven. Uh, how they claim the mandate of even that we have a special authority from a God to rule or we born to rule. Uh, Hittites in the technological and uh, uh, development, uh, Orient culture, Asia Minor, Anatolia, Old Kingdom, Mid Kingdom, and New Kingdom, Assyrians, archaeology and language, Hattusa. Uh, however, Sumer. Uh, Sumer was an ancient civilization in uh, Mesopotamia, as you know that the Assyrian and Sumerians uh, regions of the Fertile Crescent situated between the two rivers, Euphrates and Tigris, known as their innovative language, governance, architecture, and more. Cuneiform, which is used the pictograph tablets, uh, architecture on a, a ground uh, scales is generally created to have a begin under the Sumerian elaborate the construction of such a terracotta, which is also part of the uh, Indian uh, Aramanis, uh, found from the Monjodaro and other uh, historical site, ornamentation with the Bronze Age. Sculpture was used mainly to adorn temples and offer some of the earliest examples of the human artists uh, seeking to achieve some form of the naturalism in their figures. Uh, Zigots begin to appear. You have to go for the names of the god, god circuit. Okay. This is very important. Sumerian had a system of medicines that was based on magic, 
and herbalism. One of the Sumerian greatest advances was in the area of hierarchy engineering. The schools were common in Sumerian culture, making the world's first mass effort to pass along knowledge in order to keep society running and building itself. So guys, uh, these links I'm going to share in the uh, description box. You have to go. I have collected the information from there. So it will help you a lot. So uh, you have to uh, go through these content and uh, especially when you read uh, this information, uh, you must care about the primary source. The names are important and uh, the role of these primary source. Uh, so these primary source are most important thing. Okay. So as I mentioned, this is a really lengthy and this one, however, integration, there's the moral education uh, playlist. I'll suggest you first, you have to go through it. And uh, there's the one curriculum and common core standards playlist. It will help you to how to integrate uh, the content with other courses, okay? So first you have to go through it and uh, don't waste your time. And uh, hopefully uh, I'll be telling you more about the moral education integration and UA social studies because it's a 20%. But first I'll suggest you please go through the integration uh, videos in order to get the uh, 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 prior knowledge or the basic knowledge, okay? And then if you have a further questions, you can feel free. Uh, you can contact me through the WhatsApp or you can email me or uh, you can drop your comments. Okay. So we'll be meeting in the next lesson with the new part of this uh, UA social studies. Stay blessed and stay safe. Thank you.